Hello everyone, welcome to day 19th of my member lead code challenge and let's walk through today's question. Today's question is humming distance. Humming distance is defined between two integers as the number of positions at which the corresponding bits are different. Let's take an example and let's try to understand it. Here in this example, the value of x that is given to us is 1, the value of y that is given to us is 4. We write the binary representation of 1 which is 0, 0, 0, 1 and we write the binary representation of 4 which is 0, 1, 0, 0. So at what indexes is both the bit different? The, this is the first index, we have 1 here, we have 0 here, so we got one such instance and the other such instance is this index, 0 here, 1 here. So in totality there are two such indices where the bits are different and thus the answer becomes 2. Without much ado, let's look at the PPT that I have created for this and let's get started with the solution. Let's start. Hamming distance, lead code 461. And let's take the same example as specified in the question. Let's write the binary representation of 0. So in any binary representation of type integer, there are 32 indexes. So let's write those up. I'm not writing 32 of them. I'm just representing that by uh, dots so but assume there are 32 such indexes starting from 0 up till 31 here let's write the binary representation of 4 we'll get 1 here 0 0 here and rest of the fields would be 0 again we want to identify those positions where the bits are different so which operation can you correlate it with? You can correlate it with the ZOR operation because in ZOR, 0, ZOR, 1 gives us 1 and 1, ZOR, 0 gives us 1 again. 0, dot ZOR, 0, dot Z, ZOR, 0 gives us 0. 1, ZOR, 1 also gives us 0. So if we perform the ZOR of th these two numbers, then it we will get one value at those indexes where the bits are different. So let's perform the ZOR operation. So after performing the ZOR operation, what do we get? 1 here, 0 here, 1 here and rest of the fields are 0. Now what do you do? You can perform the right shift operation and extract each bit one by one, iterating over these 32 bits and see how many bits were set. So you can run a for loop and extract each bit one by one and you can create a counter to see whether that bit was set or not that you have just extracted out and uh, you can update the count accordingly if the bit was set and you can return the total uh, set bit in the answer once you have iterated through the loop. Without much ado, let's look at the coding section and everything will be crystal clear there. So as a first step, I perform the ZOR operation between x and y. I create an answer variable. Let's call it set bits, set bit count. And let's start the iteration from i equals to 0, i less than 32, i plus plus. You extract the rightmost bit and you zor it with, you and it with 1. If the result is still 1, uh, that means the bit extracted was also set as 1. Therefore, you increment the answer, set bit count, and in the end, you simply return this count. Let's try this up. Accept it 100 times faster. A pretty simple and straightforward. The crux of the problem lies between understanding the right shift operation and uh, iterating through these 32 bits. I hope you understood it. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question, but till then, goodbye. Also, the time complexity of this approach is order of 1 because you are iterating through a for loop 32 times, so it's not that expensive. Similarly, the space complexity is again order of 1. Take care, goodbye.